I knew it was going to be big, almost like a life-changing experience. But it's also far beyond that. We're really looking forward to working with you all as you navigate the journey of what to build, how to build, and how to become a great founder if that's the right path for you. So I've been looking for this for a while. I've been in those spaces before. And I've been in some programs that claim to do this. There was a lot of people like doing, you know, B2B SaaS and this whole thing. It was a very different like set of priorities. Programs where there's maybe 250 people as you don't really get to pitch your idea and definitely there's no development of what you are working on. I guess what makes this one special is specifically the, the focus on deep tech. So no, I have not been in any program that comes even close. At 50 years, our mission is to use technology to first solve the big problems facing humanity, and then to lay the groundwork for a Star Trek future. And we chose all of you because we see in each of you the ability to build an indispensable company. I couldn't believe how impressed I was just by everybody who got accepted onto this program. The quality of the mentors that we have and the crazy things we've managed to achieve that you just, you never meet people like this. It's really great to see people that are like very value aligned towards these sort of things and have to struggle in the same way uh, that you are to build hard things. I've been in this space thinking about commercializing my idea for almost a year and what I heard on the weekend like completely changed my perspective on how to go about it. Whatever you expect from the program, multiply that by a million and then you're probably still not even there. So on the weekend, you basically come in here at uh, 9 a.m. on a Saturday, which usually you're asking yourself, what, what are you getting yourself into? You get into this room of like, people are already networking with each other, like it seems int intimidating, but they're all really nice and very similar stage to you. So they all have the same like fears and concerns, but also like the same excitement. If you don't do important problems, you won't do important work. This is a lot of the ethos of this program. And it's something that I wish someone had told me when I started my PhD program. We had a really cool first day. It was packed with sort of like seminars. A lot of you I've met and I've talked to you uh, about what it is you're excited about. And a lot of the time, the vision of the future you shared with me is something that if it happened, most people wouldn't notice. We're here to make a difference. And if we're here to make a difference, do something really big. If you don't aim high, you will never be high, okay? Never aim low and um, getting to know the cohort, which I thought was super engaging. The cohort got along quite quickly. Uh, the greatest thing to get started with is just like meeting a bunch of really cool people that all have a lot of energy. I think the energy is very contagious. The single most important decision you guys will make when you think about your purpose is what are you going to build? I feel like the 10 founders traits. It was very interesting to initially see the stuff that you would think normally make a good founder and then seeing actually maybe those aren't the main traits he should be going for. What we're going to talk about today is only what's essential to succeed and nothing else. We're going to try and distill down the essence of being a great founder. See how much it goes down to the individual. So like how much you're driving it and how much you like almost become the embodiment of the company. You've all been through academia and you've probably all heard your supervisor or someone tell you to pick a smaller problem, okay? And this is, I guess, great advice if you're trying to build a track record publishing things, but it's advice that will not serve you in your new life as a deep tech founder. Uh, deep tech founders who succeed all have a completely insane level of ambition and don't accept anything less. For me, what was really truly the highlight was the second day, which uh, I think the organizers did an amazing job of just like keeping a super tight schedule to go visit as many startups within London as, uh, as possible. We started like 8.45 and we ended around like 5 p.m. Uh, and yeah, we just got to know the founders for each startup, how they got started, where they're based now, uh, what they're aiming for. Hello, my name is Mustafa. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO here at Automata. We are a The second day was amazing because we got to meet six different startups and that has really opened my eyes to the pace at which these startups move and what is possible. And yeah, it's just like there's nothing better than just truly seeing in the flesh and like not only from like uh, educational perspective but also just like energizing ways. It's been very inspiring, kind of infectious to be around people like that who are so driven. So I think this was a great way to get exposed to the startup ecosystem. Do I develop a drug asset? Do I make a platform? Do I build a prototype first? Do I spend time talking to customers first? I quite like that we're immediately going deep into not just what are you working on, but what do you actually want to do? 
It has made me really question all the assumptions uh, about the path that I wanted to take and rethinking like what does my end point 10 years from now look like, but doing so in a very hopeful way, uh, just based on the like positive energy around me. Immediately looking for intersections with what the other people are working on and making quick decisions. I got uh, loads of advice and learned loads from the talks and workshops that I implemented straight away on Monday and Tuesday. Already now I have like a very different picture of what I want to do than I had a week ago. I've had to completely reposition everything. How do we make these ideas bigger and better and how do we make them achievable and make them like more VC and funding ready so that we can actually maximize the chances of success. I'm excited just for like that quick turnaround and seeing real tangible progress as the program goes on. It, obviously it's going to be a learning curve and it's going to be like a lot of work but it's exciting and it's a good environment to do so. It's a tough one. Message to my future self. Um, yeah, I hope to really engage kind of deeply with this and take time every week to think about what we're working towards. Going for it with this kind of new perspective and energy and drive and just pursuing it and owning it to an extent that I don't think would have been possible without the support for this program. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what that future self is up to. Oh, everything's changed. I think there's going to be a lot of sacrifices in the next six months. And I think there's going to be a lot of excitement. I feel like if you're trying to do something yeah. that is ambitious, uh, you're probably exclusively choosing paths that have like at least an 80% chance of failing. So honestly, if like I've got something running uh, and I know that by that point I will have like scrutinized it to death, the fact that I'm there will just be like, yeah, super hopeful and exciting. Actually take the business from being an idea to like something tangible that is going to change the world.